Hey guys, Steph here. Unusual vlog, a little bit of a screen capture. I just want to quickly cover two things. First of all, SSL encryption. This is when you add security or well, SSL security to your website. Now, traditionally, you would pay for it and you had different levels of encryption and it could cost you more or less and then you would have to install it on your server. And the cost could be anywhere from 29 bucks a year to uh, to 67 bucks for a wild card, as they call it. A wild card SSL certificate would be for a certificate, for instance, if you had killersites.com, if you wanted to have uh, shop.killersites.com or books.killersites.com, each subdomain, shop.killersites.com is a subdomain, books.killersite.com is a subdomain. You could either get a an SSL for each subdomain, paying 25 bucks per, as an example, or you could buy a wild card for like 60 bucks and be able to SSL encrypt all your domains. Now, the reason for this video is that you have something called Let's Encrypt, which is very well established now, and it's uh, free. Everything is free, free, automated, and open. And uh, you got all these sponsors, including Chrome, Mozilla, Shopify, blah, 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 blah. So don't buy SSL certificates anymore. I just had my SSL for certificates for the killer video store auto renew, cost me like 60 bucks, ticked me off. So uh, yeah, if you're looking to secure your site, and these days, a lot of sites you should secure. Like for instance, I'm using Chrome here and you see killersites.com is not secure. Frankly, it is not a security threat. You really only need secure sites, in my opinion, when you're doing maybe shopping carts and stuff like that, which I'm not doing right here on Killer Sites. This is basically a blog site at this point in time, before we have our forms and stuff. But you see, the your connection to the site is not secure. But if I go to Let's Encrypt, for instance, click on it, see so you got the green lock, ah, secure connection. But if you go to uh, Killer Sites and I go to shop.killervideostore.com where I sell the interactive web developer, you see, of course, because it's a shopping site, it is secure, a secure connection. And uh, yeah, so that's why you want to have security on your site. It's uh, for shopping and so on. But these days, because people are very sensitive to security and so forth, people want to have SSL encryption. And again, it's a bit of a pain to set it up, but your hosting company should be able to help you with that. And I would just use Let's Encrypt. You don't need to go pay for it anymore. And even if you're not doing shopping on your site, it's probably a good idea to encrypt your pages to, well, to secure your site with HTTPS. That's what you see is HTTPS. Whereas if it's not secure, it would just be, well, you don't see it here. It would just be HTTP. The S here means secure. And all it does, it's when you have an HTTPS site, an SSL secured site, it's just encrypting the data communication from the web browser to the server. So when you type in stuff in a form, it encrypts it so people can't do some, can't intercept that information. Again, this is very important with credit card information, stuff like that, but not for websites that are just uh, blog sites or something, information sites. But these days, it's become like a marketing thing these days to secure your websites, even if you don't have to. So anyway, that's the first thing I want to bring up. SSL encryption, just go to Let's Encrypt, letsencrypt.org. It's free, it works, it's fantastic. If you put up a site, you probably should get an SSL certificate here. Install it, bit of a pain, but it's good marketing. People feel a little bit safer, I suppose, even though it's not really founded. Finally, I wanted to mention this. Now, I got this screen capture from a particular hosting company or domain seller. I forget which one now. Anyway, and this is interesting to me. Now, you know, domain name extensions like .org, .com, .net, etc. And you got many, many more. You have regional extensions, like if you lived in Canada, it would be .ca. If you lived in Quebec, it would be .quebec, etc., etc., etc. But there's so many more classes, if you will, of domain name extensions, right? If you look at underneath here, under regional extensions, you got creative, you got .fail, .rocks, .ninja. So you could have uh, killer sites, .ninja. And then you got real estate extensions, .bar, .estate, .house. Then technical extensions, .audio, .graphic. It's, it's, it's amazing. This is just a small sampling. These are categories. You know, regional extensions is for 
for states, for countries, for provinces. There's tons. And for technical extensions, there's probably tons. There are so many domain name extensions now, it's unbelievable. Because at one point, there was a worry, there was worry that there was going to be a shortage of extensions when we used to have only .com, .org, .net. And then, and then they expanded it a little bit more. But now we have all these domain extensions. Are some extensions better than the others? I don't particularly believe so. I think .com still has a bit of a cachet. A .com, .com was originally invented to represent companies, com, com for companies. And then you had .org for nonprofit organizations. And then you have .net for networking-based uh, companies. This is the early web back in the early 90s. And uh, back in the day, if you weren't, for instance, a nonprofit, you couldn't get a .org. Now anybody can buy any domain, any domain extension. Why do I mention all this? Well, I just find it kind of interesting. You got all these different types of domain domain name extensions. But also, I just wanted to warn people against getting taken in by these uh, people who try to sell you their domain names. My domain is very valuable. Look at this name. And uh, or they or even worse, they try to rent you domains. Domain names are not in of themselves too valuable unless they're backed by goodwill and traffic. So, for instance, I'll use an extreme example. YouTube.com, that domain name is super, super valuable because, you know, a billion people go to YouTube.com every month. But uh, YouTubers.com, I don't know if that even exists, that, even though it sounds kind of, kind of like YouTube, it's not worth too much because nobody goes to that particular domain. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So domain names really are valued by the number of people, the traffic going to the site, and maybe a brand name associated with the site. Older domains like KillerSites.com. This domain I took over in around 2002, but it was established no 2000, and it was established in 1996 for the best-selling book of uh, of its time, creating killer websites. I took it over. And this domain, it still gets a million or so page views a month, but its true value, well, that's big value, but its other value is the fact that it's been around since 1996 and older domains have cachet. And uh, there you go. So anyway, that's it.